Congratulations to Mikey, Jacob, Brandon, and Sean as they advance to the state finals. Head coach Dave Malnato has high hopes for all four wrestlers to win state titles. Well, I mean, obviously we're gonna we're gonna work to to win state titles, but I mean, uh, every one of those guys has the ability to place down to the state tournament, and uh, you know, depending on how. Um, how they feel and, and stay healthy and be mentally prepared will determine uh, kind of where they fall in, uh, on the podium. Coach Malnato thinks Mikey De La Pena has great potential this weekend. Well, he wrestled really well in his first two matches. He pinned a kid from Crown Point that uh, he had a pretty, pretty good match with uh, earlier in the season. I think he made your decision, but here uh, this morning he ended up getting a fall in the first period, which was great. Um, and then wrestling in that second match, he had a really tough kid from, from Mishawaka who he wrestled earlier in the year. Uh, he controlled the whole match. I mean, uh, pretty much dominated the first, second, third period. So, I mean, overall did, did a pretty good job. I think I improved a lot on my uh, positioning defensive-wise, you know, keeping my hands down, keeping my stance down. Uh, that's pretty much it. I think I'll do pretty well as long as I keep my, uh, my legs moving, you know, keep pressure. You know, stay aggressive. That's how I'm win every match. Uh, and tough competition is yourself. I mean, everybody could be beaten at state. You know what? Uh, Jake showed a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of hard courage uh, earlier this year. He, uh, he actually, uh, uh, you know, hurt his ankle pretty, pretty severely. Uh, twisted up pretty good. Uh, on a, on a bicycle, so uh, we weren't really sure, you know, what the outcome of the surgery and everything was. At at first, they were talking about um, it being uh, three months. Uh, he ended up going through the rehab and pretty going through some intensive rehab. He ended up coming back in two and actually didn't end up missing any of the of the, of the season. So I mean, that was huge for him. At semi state, I didn't perform as how I wanted to be. Uh, just got to keep the pace high, wrestle how I want to wrestle, make them wrestle my match and really score a bunch of points. At State, I want to perform to my best abilities, just go out there, score as many points as I can, not focus on winning the match, but just be as physical and keep the pace high. Uh, you know, everyone's going to be tough there, they made it there for a reason, but I want to go out there and win a state title. Brandon, uh, he had a nail biter there at the end. Uh, he won uh, in overtime with about I think like two or three seconds left on the clock, got a takedown that he needed. Um, so that was a huge win for him being a sophomore. Uh, you know, he won the section and won the regional. He's been wrestling really well the last two or three weeks. So, um, you know, it was good to see him get that win. It always is huge when you get a, uh, an underclassman down the state tournament because it kind of gives them a, a feel of what it is to be down there. Uh, they get the bugs out a little bit, gives them time to get those nerves out. Uh, once you, It's hard to go down there uh, the first time and, and, and have a, a tremendous amount of success. So uh, just getting him down there, getting him to get, experience everything. I think I'll do pretty good at state if I just uh, move my feet and heavy hands and stuff. But my biggest competition is Kobe Woods. I lost 2-0 to zero to him in the semifinal. Of course, Brandon's older brother, Sean, has his sights set on a second state championship. He just, he's 
one of those guys that it, he's kind of like a, a man amongst boys at this point. I mean, he's he's really wrestled really well all year. He's going to have uh, some some decent matches this afternoon, but um, I mean, he's just. Uh, Everything's kind of clicking for him. He's, he's, he's always seems to be in the right position uh, to score and, you know, puts himself in a really good position when he's on top to, to get the fall. So overall, I mean, he's, he's had a pretty dominant uh, day. Uh, I think my performance was uh, pretty dominant. I had a five-second pin and a 16-second pin in the final, so it's pretty dominant. I'm not really thinking about how, I'm gonna, how the outcome's going to be. I'm just going to look and to score points and uh, just let, the, let that handle itself. My biggest competition is probably... Quinn York from uh, Franklin Community took fifth at state last year. As the four wrestlers got their last practice sessions in this week, we wish each one the best of luck as they hope their hand will be raised a final time as a state champion.